So in our life, we often see that people swear by different things. So sometimes you may see a person who swear by Kaaba. So the question is, can we really swear by Kaaba? The answer for this question is in the Hadith book, Sunan Nisai, Hadith number 3804. So the simple answer is no, you cannot swear by Kaaba. You cannot swear by any person. You cannot swear by anything. You can only swear by Allah Almighty. Okay. The simple answer is you can only swear by Allah Almighty. You cannot swear on anything or any person. So let's see what is the hadith. Swearing by the Kama. What happened in this hadith? That this lady, Kutera, she is a woman from the tribe Johanna. So what happened? A Jew came. She told us that uh, she is telling us in this hadith that a Jew came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, you are setting up rivals to Allah and associating others with him, which means he is uh, putting the allegation of shirk. You say whatever Allah wills and you will, and you say by the Kaaba. So basically, he meant that Muslim use this uh, Kaaba for swearing and we cannot use that swear because if we do that, then basically we are setting up rivals and associating others with Allah. And there's another thing mentioned here, but I will not go in the detail of that because that is a separate topic, inshallah. We'll study it in detail in another hadith, inshallah. And you say by the Kama. So when Prophet ﷺ heard this thing from the Jew, he was saying the right thing actually. So Prophet ﷺ commanded them, commanded the Muslims, if they wanted to swear an oath, to say by the Lord of Kama. So you cannot simply say by the Kama, but you can make a swear by the Lord of Kama, Kaaba, which is actually Allah Almighty. And to say whatever Allah wills and then what you will. So this thing is about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu We will also study that in detail in another hadith, inshallah. So, but at the moment, just for this, the sake of this question, you need to remember, you cannot swear by anyone except Allah Almighty. So if you want to include any other thing in your swear, then you must say by the Lord of Kaaba, by the Lord of that person's name and stuff like this. Okay, you can only swear by Allah Almighty. Nobody else. Next, we have uh, another question here. This time we have a question, can you swear by your forefather? Again, just like in the previous hadith, I told you that we can only swear by Allah Almighty, nobody else. So this means you cannot swear by your forefather. Answer of this, uh, this is clearly mentioned in uh, this 3805 of Sunan Nisai. So let's see what is in here. Here, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, don't don't swear by your forefather or by the false gods. No, Alhamdulillah, Muslim don't believe in the false god. But in case of your forefathers, you cannot use their names for swearing or taking oaths. You can only swear by Allah Almighty. So today you learn these things. If you have only any kind of question, feel free to ask me. Inshallah, I will answer them. See you all next time. Inshallah. Ma'as salama.